What up, squad fam? Sorry I was too busy to post episode 3 this week, so here's a character rundown after episode 2 because you probably want to know more about the mainish characters and what their place will be this season on the dollhouse drama. So Kaylee Delsworth, firstly, is the main character. She kind of ties the whole plot together. She's where the series starts. Um, she's the new girl at Birchland, and it's revealed that she had a risky video that got out of her at a party back in Pinecrest, her old school, which everyone pretty much knows about, including the Plastics, aka the cheerleaders who hold it against her. So basically, her main focus since her parents sent her to this boarding school is to keep a low profile and prove herself to everyone again by showing her true ability, which is riding. But she meets some new people along the way, including Nikki, her roommate, who she gets along with because they've both been misunderstood. But one of Nikki's friends, Lisa McDonald, who she already knows because if you didn't know, she was the girl in the video with Kaylee. And they do blame each other for the video getting out, so it's really toxic relationship between them in the first few episodes. And so Kaylee has to sort of work together with her to keep the video under wraps and come to terms with having to be near each other after having feelings for each other and all of that. So Lisa is an interesting character. She's not as active in season one as the other characters because obviously she's battling addiction, she binges anxiety medication, and she drinks because of what happened between her and Kaylee, but also because of her internal conflict and her family life, which you'll learn more about later. Uh, basically, Lisa is the introvert of her friend group, but she didn't used to. She used to be really funny and fun, and so Evelyn is really concerned about her, and everyone wants to know what caused the change in her personality, and they want her to get help, mostly. Most of the school knows her as Skitsy Lisa because of her issues, but her friends kind of want to keep it covered up, so they're trying to help her, but they don't realize that it's kind of out of their control at this point and that they need um, other help. Evelyn is another main character and she's the leader of her friend group and wants the best for everybody including Trina who she thinks is lying to her and Nadia who she's also concerned about. Evie's family has always drilled sports into her since she was a little girl and because she has a lot of athlete relatives she feels that she isn't good enough and pushes herself a lot because of it. Even though her friends think she's the most put together one out of all of them, she's got a lot of baggage when it comes to her self-image, and you'll learn why later. So she's the captain of the soccer team, which the cheerleaders are also on, and she has always been kind of close to them since her life is soccer and getting in a scholarship and going to university for sports. And another issue for her in season one is that she is trying to please everyone, and she wants to stand up for her childhood friends, which the popular girls make fun of, but she also wants to win nationals and stay friends with them. So she is struggling with being perfect and being on both sides because she isn't that confident and proud she's actually very shy and doesn't like confrontation but she's going to learn that she has to pick which side of life she wants to be on between her sports life and looking out for her friends and that's why I like Evie she doesn't give away too much but she is a very complex character Nikki is my favorite character because she's really rebellious and cool, but she's also deceiving because you look at her tattoos and the burn on her face and you think, what a wild girl, you know, what a shameful daughter because her parents are very rich and actually own the Birchland School. Uh, but she's actually a thinker and she doesn't want to be defined by her past when she sold drugs and her parents exiled her. She wants to be known for her brains and how much she cares about her friends, including Kaylee, who she helps get adjusted to the school. But now she's having a really hard time letting go of her past because her boss is after her again and has even brought Kaylee into it so now Nikki feels really guilty over what could happen so now she has to push her friends away a little bit in order to deal with this huge problem that has arisen and solve it with her old friend Alex and her boyfriend Travis and by keeping this side of her life from everyone and what's going on it is going to come back and haunt her. Trina is a colorful character and definitely adds some humor to the show with her sexual misconduct and wild nature and she definitely has a lot of confidence to her having moved from Russia to Canada and leaving her abusive ex so she has been through a lot and doesn't want to waste her life away. She wants to have fun in high school and unfortunately that causes her to make some bad decisions surrounding her relationships and her personal life, but she'll definitely prove herself to everyone in the end. I'll cut to the chase. Nadia is a nerd. She's been involved in school her whole life because she grew up in a strict household where her parents want her to get far in life and prove herself to them. So she made an arrangement with Nikki to help her get into such a good school and that led to their close friendship today. She is mature, cynical, and she speaks her mind, so when her friends pressure her into going out and having fun the night at the party, she thought, you know, why not go all out? But it turns out that by doing that one time, it's going to lead to a semester of pain regarding her future and her relationships. 
Alana is an interesting character because she has a lot of layers to her. Like Shrek! Sorry, sorry. She seems perfect since she's the class president and the head cheerleader who everyone wants to date, but she's actually hiding something in which even she won't come to terms with. She is building up a lot of self-hatred and exerts it in a way that doesn't show so that she can manipulate everyone around her like they are a bunch of dolls and she is the puppet master. Hee <laughs> hee! She doesn't even like the popular kids she is associated with, so she doesn't attack Kaylee and her friends publicly like they do, but she stays with them because they are like a safety blanket to her and without her minions, she has nothing. Her main tactic is her dominance online, and so instead of letting her emotions show and being human, she takes it upon herself to know pretty much everything about everyone and force their secrets out instead, which doesn't sit well with Kaylee because she wants to keep her past in the past. She feels like she has control over everyone, which in turn translates into control over her own life, but later she finds out that that method doesn't work, after she ends up helping all of them in a way no one would expect. Austin was a popular football player who was very rich, but when he couldn't please his dad, he decided to screw it and left the cool kids and kind of went on his own path with his love for horse eventing. He's kind of an outcast in the way that he doesn't associate himself with the jocks anymore, and they kind of belittle him for it. But he's still cool in a mysterious way, and Kaylee is fascinated by how down-to-earth he seems. Austin is one of the only people who doesn't judge Kaylee because of her past and actually stands up for her. So because of that and their interest for horses, they have a deep bond which leads to something more. But at some point, something's gotta break, and he can't pretend the video doesn't bother him forever. Travis Smith, what a hunk. He's one of the only protected people in Nikki's life because he's her boyfriend, but not only that, they had known each other since they were kids, and he helped them get out of the bad situation they were in. He also was involved in Nikki's accident and feels responsible for it, so he tries to keep her safe at all costs and wants her to know how much he cares and wants to get them out of the situation they are in now. I ship Tiggy so much! Sean Hempties. I know I haven't introduced him yet, but he was in episode 2 at the party, and he's the star football quarterback who is a really nice guy, and he just kind of hangs out with jerks because that's all he's ever known. But he will find a reason to leave his friend group, and it's because he finds love. Who do you think it will be with? The rest of the characters aren't really that important, or their backstory is pretty obvious, so remember to stay tuned every Sunday for updates on Dollhouse, and I'm sorry that I sound really tired. It's because I am... All right, bye babies. Love that makes them love that love.